is well addressed. Okay. So let's talk about deliberate action so far, because yes. ever since you went for industrial action roughly over a week ago, we've seen some effort by the government, at least publicly, in order to quell this situation. Yes. And in the earlier report uh, by our reporter, um, she detailed that the unions have been called for de deliberations by the National Assembly Departmental Committee on Health. That's on Wednesday this week. Mm -hmm. So let's get the current status of negotiations with the national and county governments. Very well. I'll start from where I left yes. so that I tell Kenyan, because I've seen what the president did was addressing Kenyan, and he knows that he has a privilege of having crowd. Mm -hmm and uh, the Kenyan listen to him. But he need to tell Kenyan really that mm -hmm. we, no clinical officer is asking for any increment. We are only asking for implementation of what is agreeable. Ya need to nauliza deni. So we are akuna only asking, pesa mnoi itisha, itisha kuongeza. We are so, only asking in, 20, in 2021, we agreed in terms of what you ought to pay the clinical officer as per the risk allowance only. And I, I must put figures into it. Like the Ministry of Health require only 10 million for one year, a full year. Mm -hmm. All the other county, the most of the county that is spent higher is around 20 million to 23 million, whole year, mm -hmm. to implement what we are talking about. Tell me, this is just a one tender that we normally see these people running and, the pro and doing every day. The, 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 the money that we, the short business that we, is happening under the account. So we are only saying that we are asking you to invest in Kenyan because if you invest in clinical officers, you are investing in 54 million Kenyans who depend in the public facility, who do not have any other option, who today they are visiting facility when they go sit on the bench and walk back home because they have no alternative. All right. So, and because of that then, I must say that we have had some discussion, okay. and uh, more specifically the Minister of Health, and uh, I must be categorical that uh, the PS uh, Mary Modon has been very responsive. We have had several meetings. Mm -hmm. We have discussed on the 10, 10 point uh, that we raised on our strict notice. Okay. We have tried to see which one involved, like the Public Service Commission, which one involved the LCRC, and she has asked her to consult so that she sees how to, uh, how to especially unlock the deadlock, uh, I mean, the, the stalemate. So, so have you agreed on any of those 10 point issues? Uh, no, I must be very uh, specific that we have not agreed on any as much as we have had several discussion. And of course, she has said that she must be able to, to, to actually negotiate. I think then, when you look at how she has approached the issue, it can only signal that uh, this is more of a momentum, uh, I mean, uh, a, moment, uh, a time that mm -hmm. we'll have seen the whole country approach to address the issues of the health. Since we went on, uh, since we went to devolution, we have had more than a hundred strikes which affect uh, the health sector, uh, specifically the public sector, and the people lose life because of the same. Okay. So, so far, nothing has happened. We were actually invited for, for, for conciliation under the Ministry of Labor last week, mm -hmm. and they were, again, the Council of Governors was a no-show. And I must also be, make it very clear that we have a court order since last year, uh, November 8th, ordering parties to go back on the table to finalize on the CBA and ensure that we have a signed CBA with the court. The Council of Governors has never obeyed this court order as much as the ministry has been. Uh, we feel that uh, they are the biggest uh, letdown okay. and, uh, uh, and actually the problem why we are in this crisis. Well, we definitely hope the counties come to the negotiations.